On April 24, China celebrated its National Space Day. A four-hour live stream was broadcasted as part of the celebration. I am sharing it with you with its highlights. Please subscribe to my channel to get more updates. At the Chinese Jiangong Space Station, located 400 kilometers above Earth, the three astronauts of the Shenzhou 15 mission, Fei Junlong, Deng Qinming, and Zhang Lu, marked the occasion with a four-hour slow live stream. Starting at 10 a.m., tens of thousands of viewers followed along as the station's robotic arm took them on an immersive tour of the vast universe and watched the astronauts indulge in some delicious space food through the life feed. During the live stream, the three astronauts demonstrated their daily space workout routine, which included exercising on space bicycles and resistance machines to maintain their physical fitness. At mealtime, they gathered to enjoy dishes such as red stewed pork chops and brown sugar rice cakes. We hope to have more regular live streams in the future, said viewers, expressing their desire to see the astronauts in action beyond just National Space Day. This is the first slow live stream from the Chinese space station. In this live stream, viewers were able to take an immersive tour of the Chinese space station with the station's robotic arm. High-definition cameras both inside and outside the modules unlock new perspectives of Earth seen from space, documenting the daily work of the three-person space crew. Deng Qinming, one of the astronauts of the Shenzhou 15 mission, said, April 24 is the eighth National Space Day in China, and it's also the first one since the completion of the Chinese space station. According to reports, the astronauts on the Chinese space station can witness 16 sunrises in a day and orbit around Earth in about 90 minutes on average. This four-hour live stream, located 400 kilometers away, was the first long-duration live stream from the Chinese space station. For the first time, viewers were able to tour the Chinese space station through the robotic arm and witness the daily work and life of the Chinese astronauts through a life feed. Prior to this life broadcast, the Chinese Space Agency unveiled the future development direction of the Jiangong Space Station, which includes more details on the second phase of the Chinese Space Station project. At the 30th anniversary exhibition of China's manned spaceflight program, the first cabin section of the second phase of the Chinese Space Station project was publicly displayed. This large node cabin section features six docking ports, with five of them able to dock with large cabin sections or spacecraft, in addition to the forward docking port that can dock with the Tian Core module. This means that the number of available docking ports on the Chinese space station will increase from three to seven, which means that even if two docking ports are permanently docked with large cabin sections, five docking ports can still simultaneously dock with visiting spacecraft, including manned spacecraft, cargo spacecraft, and functional cabin sections. This indicates that China's Jiangong Space Station will expand several times after the completion of the second phase of the project and may even accommodate foreign cabin sections, becoming a truly international space station. Some people have raised questions about why the Jiangong Space Station needs so many docking ports, given that it typically only has three crew members and only one manned spacecraft and one or two cargo spacecraft docked for long periods. This exhibition provides some answers. Firstly, in the future, more accompanying cabin sections will provide more different services. Secondly, in addition to conducting scientific experiments in space, the Jiangong Space Station can expand its services to maintain and repair other spacecraft, which is a very important function for the future of the Chinese Space Station. Finally, in addition to the current Shenzhou spacecraft, China's new generation of manned spacecraft and even Moon and Mars landing capsules with their own propulsion systems will also dock with the space station in the future. This is when the Tiangong Space Station will play the role of a space transfer station and a frontier base for lunar exploration. At that time, the Tiangong Space Station will be able to implement regular interstellar flights to and from China's future lunar orbit space station and other deep space stations, becoming a true space mother port. Thanks for watching. Again, please subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you.